family of a Bronx woman who was killed when a car she was riding in rear ended a truck on the major Deegan Friday, saying their final goodbyes today. Before the funeral, they sat down in News 12's Greg Thompson to remember a person who they say was an amazing child. More than a week after Melrose resident Dibelis Lantigua died in a car crash on the Major Deegan, her family is still coming to terms with it. Lo mejor un tesoro. Dibelis was the, the sweetest uh, person in this world. Uh, her heart, our hearts are des destroyed because of this. And we have no words. Killed just two days before her 23rd birthday, Dibelis had recently gotten her bachelor's degree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Her family says she was working on her real estate license. Para mí es grande. They had a close Esto. connection. She said uh, she wanted to give her mother the world because her mother deserved it. Yeah. So she had a lot of dreams. She always said someday, she would give her mother everything she needed. Pictures of the car show the bottom is still intact, raising questions about if the truck that was rear-ended had the right collision guard on the back of it. The owners have said they'll make the truck available for inspection, and the family wonders if it had to be this bad. Some people believe in fate, and we believe, I believe, that you can change your fate if you want to. It all depends on us. If the truck had that guard, maybe it could have been different. I think so. Federal regulations on collision guards and trucks have been updated since 1999, and a bipartisan bill to strengthen them has installed in the Senate ever since March. The family says they hope if anything good can come from this, then maybe it can serve as a spark to get things moving again, so the next time it doesn't have to end like this. In Melrose, Greg Thompson, News 12.